In this video, we're learning how to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. And just to give you guys a little review, improper fractions are just fractions where the numerator is greater than the denominator. So if you look at example one, we have seven over two, and our numerator of seven is greater than our denominator of two. And mixed numbers are just fractions that are written with a whole number part and a fraction part. If you look at the top of our screen, we have some steps we can use when solving these types of problems. So it says first we want to simplify the improper fraction if possible, then we want to divide the numerator by the denominator, and it says our quotient is going to be the whole number part of our mixed number and the remainder will be the numerator of our mixed number, and we're always going to keep the denominator as it is. So let's jump into example one, which is seven over two or seven halves. So what we want to do is divide the numerator by the denominator. So I'm actually going to set up a division problem over here. So we're going to have seven divided by two, and 2 goes into 7 3 times, so I'm going to put a 3 up here. And 2 times 3 is 6, so we put a 6 down here, we subtract down, and we get 1. And we're going to have a remainder of 1, so I'll write remainder 1. So now what we want to do is our quotient, so this 3 is going to become the whole number part of our mixed number. And then our numerator is going to be the remainder, so 1. And our denominator always stays as it is, so it's going to stay as 2. So we get that 7 halves is the same as 3 and 1 half. Moving on to example 2, we have 33 over 9. So for this one, we can actually simplify our improper fraction before we divide. So we can divide the top and bottom of the fraction by 3. 33 divided by 3 is going to give us 11 on the top, and 9 divided by 3 gives us a 3 on the bottom. And now we need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So again, I'm going to set up the long division over here. If you guys can do this in your head, that's also fine. So we're going to do 11 divided by 3. And 3 can't go into 1, so we want to see if 3 can go into 11. And 3 can go into 11 3 times, so we put a 3 up here. 3 times 3 is 9, so we subtract 9. 11 minus 9 is 2, so we get 3 with a remainder of 2. And now we can write 33 ninths or 11 thirds as a mixed number. So the whole number part of our mixed number will be our quotient, so the 3. And the numerator of our fraction part is going to be our remainder of 2. And our denominator always stays as is, so we get 3 and 2 thirds. For these next two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can watch me work through them to make sure that you've solved them correctly. So for example 3, we have 79 over 8, which we cannot simplify, so we're going to go straight into our division. So over here we're going to do 79 divided by 8. 8 cannot go into 7, but it can go into 79 9 times. And 8 times 9 is 72, so we put a 72 down here. And we subtract down 72 minus, or sorry, 79 minus 72 is going to give us a remainder of 7. So I'm going to put remainder. 7, and now we can write 79 eighths as a mixed number. So our whole number part is our quotient, so 9, and the numerator of our fraction part is our remainder, which is 7. Our denominator stays as is, so it's 8. So we get that 79 eighths is the same as 9 and 7 eighths. And finally, our last example is 54 over 10. So we can simplify this. We can divide the top and bottom by 2. So let's go ahead and do that first. 54 divided by 2 is going to give us a 27 on the top. 10 divided by 2 is going to give us a 5 on the bottom. And now we're going to divide the numerator of 27 by the denominator of 5. 5 cannot go into 2, so we're going to check how many times 5 can go into 27, which is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Subtract down to get 2. So we get 5 remainder 2 as our answer when we divide. And we can use that to write our improper fraction as a mixed number. So our whole number part is our quotient of 5. And then our numerator is going to be our remainder of 2. Our denominator stays as is. So we get that 54 tenths, which is the same as 27 fifths, is equal to 5 and 2 fifths. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to change improper fractions to mixed numbers. If you want more practice with problems like this, check out the link in our description for a free practice worksheet.